Here, the memories are as fresh as if they had happened yesterday. My own reaction to this was similar to a lot of people across the world, uh, shock and disbelief. But for ASU grad Lieutenant Colonel Robert Ditchie, the memories of the 9-11 attacks will become more intense this Sunday when the families of victims will flock to the first national 9-11 memorial at the Pentagon. I've got to know personally a lot of the surviving family members. He works inside the Pentagon now and says even though he wasn't inside the building that day 10 years ago, he can feel the pain of the survivors as they share their memories with him. Our windows crashed, the building shook, and when we came out of our office there were people running towards us covered in plaster. The Pentagon Memorial displays 184 names of lives lost at the Pentagon, including three with ties to Arizona. David Lychak, Alan Boyle, and Colonel David Scales. The way these names are oriented has a thoughtful design. If the person who died here at the Pentagon was aboard Flight 77, you'd see the sky in the background. But if you see the Pentagon in the background, that means that they were inside the building when the plane struck. It really reminds you of the lives that were lost that day and just makes an impression on everybody who I've brought here. First responder Greg Carl sees this memorial as an opportunity for people to begin to heal, as does Colonel Ditchie. The Pentagon Memorial is uh, it's a wonderful place. A place to remember and honor the lives lost on September 11th, 2001.